Hey guys, welcome to this video. My name is John Watts. I want to talk with you about what do you do or what are some steps you can take if you have a Zoom hearing or Zoom trial coming up. You know, a lot of court cases now are being handled by Zoom or some equivalent, but at least where I practice, almost all of them that are done virtually are done by Zoom. So a few tips for you is the, the biggest tip is, you know, you got to make sure you know what the login is, the password, access code, all that sort of stuff. You got to have the details so that you can get to the right sort of Zoom room, okay? But then after that, you've got to make sure that you're comfortable with the technology. So I've seen people that say, well, you know, I, I have the Zoom trial. I've never used Zoom. I don't even think I've downloaded it. So I'll, I guess I'll try to log in five minutes before the trial. I'm like, well, what if you have to download something? Well, I don't know. How do you download? Yeah, we got to figure this stuff out ahead of time. Okay. So if you're using Zoom, and if you're if the trial or hearing is not with Zoom, figure out what it is. But let's assume it's with Zoom. You've got to make sure Zoom is downloaded on your computer, on your laptop, on your iPad, whatever you're using. And then you need to test it. Okay. So do it with a friend, a family member, somebody. Say, hey, can you hear me? Can you see me? Make sure everything is working. Uh, and look, I see lawyers do this, that they'll get on a Zoom and they're talking and talking and nobody can hear. And judge like, I can't hear you. Your microphone's not working. Unmute yourself. You know, a lawyer, you know, it's like sometimes hold it like, how do I do that? Well, you got to figure that out before you've got the pressure of a judge looking at you. Okay, because at least all the Zoom hearings I've been in, the judge fully expects everybody, lawyers and party members, to have your video on, be able to speak, identify yourself, know how to mute yourself. If you're wanting to share a document, you have to understand how to share a document, share your screen. And I just see judges get very upset when people do not know how to do that. And look, maybe they were a little more lenient in March or April, but here we are. It's January 2021. We've been in this for a long time. So the judges expect everybody that's appearing in court to understand how to use the technology. So if you don't know how to use the technology, just, you know, you're watching this on YouTube, most likely, just, you know, YouTube it. <laughs> just do a search on YouTube. You know, how do I do a Zoom hearing? Or how do I turn my microphone on? Or how do I get my camera to work? And then test it and test it and test it. Because being in a hearing is stressful. Being in a trial is stressful. It just no matter what, it's stressful. If you add on top of that, well, now I can't get the technology to work. That's bad. And I'll tell you about a recent hearing I had. I don't think I've shared this before. So I had my camera set up. I had this microphone here that you may can see. And, you know, everything was set up. And I could see fine. And the judge could hear me, but I could barely hear the judge. And, you know, so I'm like discreetly like, you know, ramping up the volume. I can barely hear. I mean, I'm kind of having to lean in like, OK, what is she saying? And then respond. And I just couldn't figure out, like, what is wrong? You know, why doesn't she have her microphone working? Well, then when I get off, I realize, oh, I had a set of headphones plugged in to my computer. And so I had the sound going through those headphones. So it wasn't the judge's fault. It was my fault. And I share that with you to say, just check everything. Like do a, you know, what, what would they call it on TV? Like a sound check, you know, like, okay, can we, can we see? Can we hear? You know, can your microphone pick up you speaking? Can uh, your speakers pick up sound coming in? And all that sounds so basic. But look, for me, it was very difficult and it was like a 10 second deal with the judge, okay? I mean, what if that had been a 30 minute or a three hour trial and I can barely hear? That's not a good sign, okay? So it's just being prepared, making sure our equipment's working. Uh, one advice that I can give you is if you're doing an actual trial or where documents will be shown on the screen, it's kind of hard if you're looking on your phone to necessarily see that. And, you know, we may be trying to, like, expand the, the size of the document. We may hit a, the wrong button and cut off our camera or hang up on the call. 
So if you can, I would use a laptop or a desktop and you, know, you can have your phone as a backup you know, in case something happens, you know, with your internet, you can always log on through your phone. But uh, it's just easier if you're trying to look at documents, particularly part of the screen is taken up with video. You might have three people on there, or six people or 10 people on there. So just spend some time getting used to it. It's the same idea that I've always talked about. You know, if you're going in person to a trial, make sure you know where the courthouse is. Make sure you know where the judge's courtroom is. Because you don't want to be wandering around. And I did a video maybe three or six months ago where I went to the wrong courthouse. I, you know, I, that was my mistake. I thought I was in the right courthouse and I wasn't. And there was a new courthouse that was like five miles down the road. And I, you know, barely made it in time, but it just wasn't a good feel. So I, I share that with you. Say, I try to be very, very careful about this. And, you know, knock on wood, you know, I don't know, maybe I've missed one hearing in 25 years because there was a calendaring error. But I mean, even if you're trying to be careful, you can still make mistakes. So really, really be careful to make sure you have your technology, your password, like everything you need so you're good to go on that hearing. And then you can have the best possible chance of winning. You don't want to lose because the judge is annoyed because the judge can't ever hear you. Or <laughs> like my deal where I couldn't hear the judge because I had a pair of headphones plugged in that I'd forgotten about. So hope that that's helpful and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Okay. Bye-bye.